Hey everyone, it's Byron. I'm here to testify for Jesus Christ. I'm going to cover a dream I had earlier this morning. Today is the 5th of March, 2019. Uh, I woke from this around 3.30 a.m. In the, in the morning. Uh, I had a dream I was a U.S. military soldier. I was in a city as part of a U.S. military force. I went and interacted with many people in the city, including going to apartment complexes and seeing people walk their pets uh, as a soldier. It was as if I was an occupying force. However, at one point in time in a dream, I met a Russian soldier and I became a, a Russian soldier and I became aware that the Russian army was right outside the city. They had either encircled us or were in an encampment right outside the city. This Russian soldier that I met I don't know if he was a spy, perhaps he was a spy, just like the spies of Israel spied out Jericho. <clears throat> anyway, he told me a few things about the Russian army's tactics. And one thing that took me off guard was about stand to and stand down. In the military, 30 minutes before sunrise and 30 minutes um, before sunset, you have what's called stand to. And you just basically, everybody's a awake and, and um, ready for an enemy attack because that's the most likely times that the enemy could attack. He told me the Russians, they don't they do not do that. They they have some people on security, but others are just crash sleeping. And I even, either he told me this or I saw, as he was telling me this, people sleeping on the bottom of an armored fighting vehicle. Like I said, I mentioned uh, that people, I interacted with people in apartments that ladies were walking their dogs in these apartments. Uh, but when I became aware um, of the Russians' encirclement or the Russian um, encampment outside the city, I got a horrible feeling in my stomach. It was just like, oh my gosh, they're going to come. We're not ready. Um, this is sickening. And I began to move back to the middle of the city. As I did, I looked and there was helicopters moving from my left to right or forward of me. Um, and they appeared to be CH-47s, Chinook helicopters. They transport about 28 jumpers, uh, people with jump packs on their back. I'm not sure how many soldiers they get in there, just regular old <coughs> whatever. But I, I thought maybe the Russians have some copies of ch 47 or maybe they're actually doing an air assault into the city. But it ended up, as I approached more to the middle of the city, I could see... A friend of mine, he had his pack on his back and he was moving out toward the direction that the helicopters were landing or the landing zone. And I, I basically got the idea at that time, we were we were literally going to move out of the city, be air assaulted out of the city um, or air lifted, not air assaulted, out of the city, uh, perhaps for a better position. But I think it was to save us because we were not prepared for this Russian army invasion. And that was pretty much the end of the dream. I did I did think about maps. I don't know why. I wondered, do I even have maps? And I considered using my cell phone. So that just adds to the, um, the feeling of not being prepared and equipped for what was before us. Uh, that was the end of that dream. And I, I'm going to tell you, and this is my honest, you know, <laughs> this is bad enough to, to I, I've had probably, I don't know, and I, I, I'd have to count them, but I've had so many Russian dreams, so many Russian soldier dreams, uh, Russian soldiers in Columbia, Tennessee, shooting mortar rounds, torturing people, including myself there. Um, a Russian officer or somebody with a pistol pointing it at me and then I, I, he didn't shoot me. Uh, this particular one, folks, the United States is in trouble and it, it is it is horrible. It, it's The thing that's so horrible is that there's so many people who um, cannot even hear, even when it's said to them what's coming. They can't hear. They won't entertain the, the, the what's coming. It, it's going to be horrible. It's going to be a horrible thing to uh, be a part of. It's going to be a horrible thing to 
live through. It's going to be a horrible thing to die through. Once I saw Russian soldiers, they were fighting just down the street from people that were eating supper at their table. Like a complete and total surprise. They had no idea. I just beg you to, to spread the word, share this with people that you know. Um, use me as the fall guy. Don't don't act like yourself as necessarily if need be. Don't, don't act like you're going to have any dream. Put it on me. Hopefully someone will, will see this and the Holy Spirit will um, quicken them or bring you know life to them as far as these things that are going on. And um, and I can just say just there's one hope in all the world and that's Jesus Christ and uh, cling to the Lord with all your heart, soul, and strength. Love the Lord with all your heart, soul, and strength. And um, just pray that you you just are ready. Just tell the Lord you're ready to do whatever His will is here on this earth for you to 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 help in the preparation of people for what's coming. And I don't think He can be stopped. Uh, I just think that people can be personally prepared by faith in Christ. Uh, thanks.